This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 11 Chapter 30 Derivatives Exercises 30.4. Now the next question is differentiate in two ways using product rule and otherwise the function 1 plus 2 tan x into 5 plus 4 cos x. Verify that the answers are the same. That means this is question number 25. So we know the normal method means just differentiate. The other one is using the product rule. So we have to do with both the process and then we'll uh, try to show that both the answers are correct. So the fx is actual thing which is given is 1 plus 2 10x and 5 plus multiplied by 5 plus 4 cos x 1 plus 2 tan x and 5 plus 4 cos x so what we will do here first u, u and v you take then u dash u dash this is 0 2 will come outside tan x is x square x so 2 x square x here we have 5 as 0 4 will come out and cos x will be minus sin x so 2 x square x and minus 4 sin x so u dash v dash we have got now cross multiply that is d dx d by dx of u v is u into v dash plus v into u dash okay so 1 plus 2 tan x into minus 4 x and 5 plus 4 cos x and 2 cos 2 uh, into sec square x just multiply each and everything 1 into minus 4 sin x is minus 4 sin x 2 tan x and minus 4 sin x is minus 8 tan x sin x 5 and 2 sec square x is, is 10 sec square x 4 cos x plus 2 sec square x is what is it? 8, 8 cos x and sec square x. Okay. So if you see here, this 10x is sine by cos. First of all, take minus 4 sin x and 10 sec square x together. This is minus 8 10x sin s. We'll keep them together. So 8 sec x minus, I'm taking positive first, minus 8 10x uh, sin x. Now you can take 8 common. This is 1 by cos. This will be sine by cos and this is sine will sine be here. Cos you can take outside. So 8 by cos x and this 1 minus sine square x. So 1 minus sine square x. 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So you have 8 cos x. Here you have cos square theta, cos square x. 1 cos you can cancel. You get 8 cos x. So 8 cos x is what when we combine this. And the other things remains the same. So this is by product rule. Now let us multiply it normally. 1 into 5, 5. 1 into 4 cos x, 4 cos x. 2 tan x into 5 is 10 tan x. Then 2 tan x into 4 cos x is 8 tan x into cos x. So sine by cos and cos that is why it is sin x. Now we differentiate it. 5 is 0. Uh, 4 cos x is minus sin x. So you have minus 4 sin, 4 sin x. And 10 x, 10 x is, 10 is x square x, 10 x square x. 8 outside sin x is cos x. So exactly same, both are same. Ex exactly same they are. We have verified it. Next is question number 26. So we have three parts here. Differentiate each of the following functions by the product rule and the other method and verify the answer. That answer from both the methods is the same. Same thing we have to do. There are three parts. So fx is given as 3x square plus 2 whole square. 3x square plus 2 whole square. So we will write for the product rule 3x square plus 2 and 3x plus 3x square plus 2 separately. U and V. Now this u dash will be 6x, v dash will be again 6x, and 2 will be 0. So 6x, 6x. Now just cross, so it will be same, right? right? So twice of 3x square plus 2 into 6x. So you have 2 into 6x and 3x plus 2. This is 12x. So 12x and 3x square plus 2. So you get this 36x cube and 12x and this 24x. 24x. Now this is by the product rule. Now let us do it by the normal method. That is, this is a plus b whole square formula. So a square that is 3x square plus 2 whole square we are going to do it. So 3x square whole square 
First is 3x square whole square. Then we have 2 whole square that is 4 and then 2 into 3x square into 2. So this is 9x raised 4 plus 4 and then 2 twos of 4, 4 threes are 12, 12x square. So now differentiate it. 4 will be 0. This will be 4 will come outside. So 9 fours are 36, 36x 4 minus 1. So 8, 9, 36 x cube. It is 2 comes outside. 12 twos are 24, 24 x. So exactly same as what we got. Same thing. Both the, both the things are same. So there are uh, two more parts. Exactly same thing we have to do. So 26th second part it is. Okay. So if you see, this is x plus 2 and x plus 3. So this is fx. This is u, this is v. This is u, this is v. Now what is u dash? x plus 2 for x, 2 is 0, x is 1. X plus C again 3 0 x is 1 differentiation. So u dash v dash this is 1 1. So you just have to add x plus 2 and x plus 3. So you have 2 x plus 5. 2 x plus 5. Now this is uh, by the product rule. Now coming to normal form. Multiply these two. So you get x square plus 2 x plus 3 x plus 6. So 2 x plus 3 x we can write it as 5 x. Now differentiate it. 6 is 0, 5x will be 5, x square will be 2x. So these two are same. That, that we have to verify here using both the method, product rule and the normal multiplication method. Okay. Coming to the third one. That is 3 sec x minus 4 cos x and minus 2 sin x plus 5 cos x. So trigonometry, trigonometric thing is here. 3 sec x minus 4 cos x multiplied by minus 2, I am writing it uh, below, minus 2 sin x plus 5 cos x. So both way we have to do. So let me show it here only. First we will differentiate. 3, 3 sec x is sec x sin x. Minus 4 cos x is cos x minus cos x cot x. So minus will become plus and 4 cos x cot x. Coming to this one. Minus 2 sin x. So minus 2 sin x will be cos x. 5 cos x. Cos x is minus sin x. So you have minus 5 sin x. Okay. So multiply this u with v dash and u dash with v. So when we multiply, each and every term you have to multiply. Right? I hope you got the idea. That is, v by dx of these two will be u into v dash and v into u dash, which is the first term if you see here. So this is e is equal to, not, not plus, is equal to, right? Because plus is in the, in the, in the second line. So when you multiply, Certain term will come. I hope you will be able to do it. Finally, I will just show you what will come. First, let me go to the second second part. That is, we will do it using uh, multiplication. Then I will show you how we can get this particular answer with this also. There will be, we have to change this uh, 10 square x and cot square x. Other terms, if you see, they are they will be cancelled. So, we will write this. 10 square x is x square x minus 1 and cos cot square x cos x square x minus 1 then only we will get this uh, result. Now first multiply this is the second method the direct multiplication. Multiply this 3 sec x and minus 2 sin x and this will be minus uh, 6 sec x sin x. So each and every element you have to multiply. Then you have to multiply this 3 and 5 then minus 4 and minus 2 and uh, then minus 4 and 5 minus 20 cos x cot x cos x. So sec is 1 by cos, this is sin by cos, this is 1 by cos, cos cos gets cancelled, so 15 only, this is 1 by sin and sin, sin sin gets, gets cancelled, only 8 will remain, this is 20, this is 1 by, one by uh, sin, so cos by sin is cot. So what do you get? Now you have to differentiate this. So minus 6 x sin x minus 20 cot x plus 23 is the final result and you have to, now do what? You have to differentiate it. So 23 will go, minus 20 cot x is uh, minus cos x square x and minus 6 tan x is x square x. So this what you want should come here. Now you see closely. First thing is that 8 cot x, 8 cot x cancels. 15 tan x, 15 tan x cancels. 20 and minus 6 will be 20 minus 6. And then this cancel, just cancel it. This also gets cancelled. Now we have minus 6 and 20, 20 minus 6 of course. 
Now, if you see, you have this minus 6 10 square x and 20 cot square x. Okay. So, here, I'll just uh, show it here. So, minus 6 10 square x. So, in place of 10 square x, we are writing 6 square x minus 1. You have to write it as 6 square x minus 1. Because you want this answer to come as the answer which is coming in the second method. So, you can you cannot leave it like that. You have to equate them also, show them that they are equal. That is why 6 10 square x, we are writing 6 x square x minus 1. In 20 cot square x, we are writing 20 cos x square x minus 1. Now, when we resolve it, it will be minus 6 6 uh, x square x plus 20 cos x square x. Because I'll, the constant term will cancel 20 and this 20 and 6 and 6. So, this gets cancelled. So, finally, minus 6 x square x and 10, 20 cos x square x will be the final answer. Means equate also, show that they are equal. Okay, question number 27 it is. So, if you see for at the first glance, these seems to be two different parts. So, we can take u and v. So, fx is u this one, v this one. Now, when we take u dash, ax plus b, when you, when you differentiate it, b will be 0, a will come outside, d by dx of x is 1. So, you get a. But a plus d, the second term, is a constant term because we have to do d by dx. There is no x in a plus d. So, that means what are you doing is actually differentiating a constant to be 0. Now, multiply. u and v dash will give you 0, ax plus b into 0 will give you 0. And a plus d whole square and a will give you this a to a plus d whole square. And that is going to be, to be final answer. So, there is, there is a slight confusion that is a plus d whole square and you have to be very specific about it. Next is question number 28. So, this question number 28 has a uh, certain power. So, we will apply the product rule also and the chain rule also. Both of, both of these uh, rule we will apply. Now, ax plus b to the power n and cx plus d to the power n. This is u and this is v. So, u dash will be n ax plus b to the power n minus 1. And then you have to do ax, AX plus b also. That is the chain rule. First, you assume it to be say y to the power n. It will be ny to the power n minus 1. Then y you have to also do. ax plus b plus b differentiation also you have to do. So, you have na ax plus b to the power n minus 1 v dash cx plus d to the power n it will be n cx plus d to the power n minus 1 and then we will do cx plus d so it will be c it will be differentiated so this is n c cx plus d to the power n minus 1 now multiply cross so ax plus b to the power n into this term v dash so now what is the possibility we always take the lower lower uh, power Outside, we have already seen this. So, in ax plus b to the power n and ax plus b to the power n minus 1, we will take ax b to the power n minus 1. Because when we are taking n minus 1 from the first term, you have to have a ax plus b also. ax plus b in the numerator, then only ax plus b uh, power 1 and ax plus b power n minus 1 will become ax plus b to the power n. So, a, when you take n ax plus b to the power n minus 1 from ax plus b to the power n minus 1, what ax plus b will remain? And then you have this n, you can take n also constant. So, so you just have to multiply c and cx plus d because we have taken cx plus d n minus 1 also common. I am saying that the, the sh shorter power has to be taken outside. So, you are taking this, so this goes. Okay, so a into cx plus d we have to do because ax plus b to the power n minus 1, cx plus d to the power n minus 1 we have already taken also. Inside this will come. So acx and acx you can write it as 2acx and cb plus ad of course it will be like this. Okay, so this is uh, exercise number 30.4. You know it's a long chapter so have patience. We are just completing it. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.